Well, what's up, y'all? Welcome back to my channel. This is going to be an I Spy reading. We're going to be spying in on Libra. This is a reading for my cross watchers, but anybody is welcome to watch it. For those of you who do not want to spy in on Libra, the time for you to exit is now, okay? Because we are about to be nosy. So let's go ahead and spy in on Libra. Let's go ahead and shuffle the deck two more times. I'm going to I'm going to cut the deck, and I'm also going to be clarifying with my deck, okay? So. Let's go ahead and see what we have for my cross watchers. Let's spy in on Libra. All right, so let's see. Cross watchers, what are they up to? So what Libras are up to? What is on their mind? How has life been treating them? Do they still think about you? Do they still talk about you? And what actions are they going to take towards you, if any? All right, so that's out the way. And then I'm going to be clarifying these cards with my purple deck okay so oh okay so this is the first one so let's see what's on their mind how is life been treating them do they still think about you do they still talk about you and the action that they're going to take towards you if any all right so let's get into it cross watches let's see what is libra's up to we got the nine of pentacles Wow. So a lot of them are single here. Okay. And it says I'm miserable, stressed out and unhappy. So it could be even one of these three things. Okay. So maybe, um, getting there are single financially stable though. Okay. But they could be a little unhappy probably because they, they don't have anyone. Okay. But I am getting um, single. Okay. So again, like I said, this is not going to resonate with everyone, but these group of Libras that I'm picking up on, they are very much so single with this nine of pentacles. And a lot of them are unhappy. Some of them could be stressed. Okay. And some of them could be miserable as well. Okay. But this is what they're up to. Let's see what is on their mind, cross watchers. We got the tower. Yeah, so they could have recently went through some sort of a shakeup, a breakup of some sort here. It says, I like the finer things in life. And that's going back to this nine of pentacles. So they definitely um, enjoy, you know, the luxury, you know, um, the finer things in life. Yeah, I mean, nine of pentacles, very stable, self-sufficient. So a lot of them definitely could like the finer things in life. They may like to um, go shopping. I'm getting shopping spree sprees. You know, some of them may dress nice. They may want to spend a little money on their fabrics and different things like that. Okay, but what's on their mind? We do have the tower. So some sort of a shakeup could have been either a breakup because a lot of them are single. Okay. Um, and a lot of them, while I'm getting a breakup due to somebody, maybe they're kind of like, um, I'm not going to say a gold digger, but I'm getting like, you know, just a female or just a person who just likes, you know, they could be a little expensive is what I'm getting. So, um, <laughs> <laughs> wow so it could have been a what's on their mind is like a breakup of some sort and it could be because you know they they expect to have the finer things in life okay and maybe this partner that they were with couldn't provide the lifestyle that they are kind of used to having is what i'm getting with this energy so that's what's on their mind okay so let's continue how has life been treating them we have the three of cups so they've been really enjoying enjoying themselves celebrating having a lot of fun could be dating multiple people or going out with friends and family um a lot of joy and happiness with the three of cups is what i'm getting and we have wow i have someone else but i still want you too interesting so um they could have been enjoying them times dating multiple people is what i'm getting that could have contributed to a breakup of some sort but this is what's going on with them interesting so let's see the next card is going to represent, well, the next two cards are going to represent, do they still think about you? So we got the seven of pentacles. Wow. So I'm definitely getting a yes. I feel like from time to time, they do think about you here with this um, seven of pentacles here. Um, yeah, it says, I dream of you when I sleep at night. Interesting. So um, I'm definitely getting yes. And a little more info that we have about, you know, do they think about you? Yes. I feel like a lot of them could dream about you as well when they go to sleep at night. But I'm getting, especially with the nine, I mean, with the seven of pentacles, I was definitely getting like, maybe when this person is by themselves at night, you know, they tend to think about you. Like when, 
it's been a long day and they actually have a have a chance to sit down and rest and collect their thoughts i feel like you come across their mind okay cross watcher um you could be an earth sign cross watcher taurus virgo capricorn okay so let's continue um do they still talk about you we have the world interesting wow and we have let's try this again please interesting so i feel like you know they do talk about you um but i feel like with this world card i feel like new beginnings yes um completing cycles and starting something new a new track a new chapter is what i'm getting so they definitely could they could definitely talk about wanting to um wanting to try this again wanting to um possibly reunite with you or wanting to make up to try to see where this relationship can go you know that type of thing interesting so let's see what actions um are they going to take towards you cross watcher if any so we have the page of cups yeah so it's definitely an offer here this could also be like a message and we have oh mind games i love to play interesting so this is the action that they're going to be taking towards you i feel like they're going to be offering you this little cup here but i also feel like yeah it's kind of like undeveloped it's kind of like very dreamy so they could be in this energy of them wanting to offer you just a sweet little you know love note or something like that um i'm getting a little immature or like the offer is really not much it's kind of like the early stages here is what i'm getting so with the mind games i love to play some of them you know libras some you know some of them may like to play mind games okay um but it's something about these group of libras that i'm picking up on i really feel like they could be very expensive they like the finer things in life um i'm not getting a gold digger but i'm i am getting like somebody Who's not going to, yeah, these group of Libras, I feel like it's not going to um, deal with anyone who can't provide, okay, is what I'm getting. Um, and they may have a habit of dating more than one person, that type of thing. I'm getting maybe not wanting to settle down here is what I'm getting. Because they are already financially stable, Okay. But I feel like they will be reaching out to you, maybe sending a message of some sort, but it's not going to be anything that's really big, you know. I feel like it could be more like a message, you know, Libra, you know, like them sending, like Libra sending you a message, you know, that type of thing. Um, And for some of them, they may want to try this again. They may want to, you know, kind of get back together with you and work some things out as well. Um, it, it just depends on your situation. Um, so yeah, that's what I have. Let's go ahead and see if we can, let's see. I'll pull a moonology oracle and then we're going to bring this read into a close. But this is what I have for you, my cross watchers. So this is, you know, what they're up to. Um, so let's go ahead and pull one oracle. For you, my cross watchers, in regards to Libra, okay? All right. Oh, okay. Hold on. All right. And let's go ahead and cut the deck, and I'm going to grab the first card off of the top oh wow so prosperity lies ahead new moon in Taurus so you could be a Taurus cross watcher or you could have Taurus in your chart okay but this is talking about new beginning success um prosperity is that lies ahead for you okay so interesting let's go ahead and see what this is talking about 
interesting. Yeah, this talks about a lot of prosperity, a lot of money. Okay, so other additional meanings for this card, and it says it talks about you will soon be able to afford the thing you're dreaming of. So I'm really getting like this is this situation is definitely surrounding money, prosperity, wealth. So I feel like you know you need to be on your grind if you're one if you're wanting to deal with the with these group of Libras here. Okay, um. With this prosperity lies ahead card, this also talks about getting clear on what you value most will help you find peace. This also talks about you needing to take some time to pamper yourself and also for you to start standing, start a standing order to um, a savings account, no matter how small. So saving money as well. But the biggest thing I'm getting from this energy is the fact that we have all of this pentacle energy here. I'm getting these group of Libras are, you know, like like very luxurious. They love the finer things in life. So I feel like if you want to deal with this, you know, group of, you know, this particular Libra, I feel like you need to make sure that your money is on point. Okay. Um, but I also really like because... The way that they're coming forward towards you is kind of like them playing mind games. So they love to play mind games. So you may want to, you know, keep an eye out for that as well. Because they may have more than one person. So they may want to date you and have a habit of dating other people as well. Um, but I'm just getting them, you know, enjoying themselves, living life, dating who they want to date and I feel like these people that they're dating, they're de they definitely have to have something. Like, they have to be stable. If not, I feel like that's what this tower is. It's like, because le these group of Libras, they love the finer things in life. And so, you know, their partner, whoever they end up with, they have to be able to financially afford them. You know, that's the energy that I'm getting. So that's kind of like a heads up, a warning that, you know, your money needs to be on point. Okay. Yeah. Like your money needs to be on point. You need to be more stable. Like you have to have something of value is what I'm getting. Okay. So yeah, that's what I have for you. Cross watchers. If this reading resonated with you in any way, like share and subscribe. I'll see you next time. Bye.